In this video, I'll show you a common mistake made with drag and drop interactions in Adobe Captivate. So I saw this post by Stefan who wrote, uh, Hi everyone, I have a problem with advanced actions on drag and drop. Whenever I want to assign an action to an element, Captivate takes this over for all elements that are dragged and dropped. I appreciate every hint. So the mistake that Stefan is making is that he's under the impression that when he selects one of his drag objects, he can run a different script from the on success action of the entire interaction. And so let me show you what he's doing here with this sample project that I have right here. So you can see I have an on success action here and he was selecting one of his drag objects and changing the on success action, execute advanced action to one of the various advanced actions that he's written. The problem is, is that we're not, even though it seems like this drag and drop is the item selected and things that I change in my drag and drop properties inspector should be affecting uh, what's happening there. This is actually for the entire interaction, the entire drag and drop that's been placed on this particular slide. So if you want to change the action for individual drags and drops, you have to do so from the drop target. So I'm going to select the drop target. Let's change this back to continue or no action. I'm going to select the drag and drop here. We go to the format tab and here's where you can set individual object actions for all of the different drag and drops that we have. So in this example, I have all the other draggable items, no action, and they're going back to their original spot because they're the wrong answer. But in the case of the correct answer, I'm executing the following advanced action. So that way we can ensure that every single correct answer has a different advanced action that's run. So this is the, the, the key step that Stefan and so many others who are building more complex drag and drop interactions miss is that they think that the, uh, the overall interaction is where they're going to run their advanced actions from. In this case here, because of the complexity, uh, Stefan will need to assign those advanced actions from the accepted drag sources window, which you can get to by selecting your drop targets, going to the format tab and selecting object actions. If you thought this video was helpful, please like and share it with your colleagues. If you need help with Adobe Captivate, hire Paul for one-on-one -on -one instruction. Paul's goal is to focus on lessons based on your specific needs. Visit his website at CaptivateTeacher.com. And don't forget to subscribe to his YouTube channel.